What's going on you guys? My name is Tom from Planted Aquaria and today I'm going to give you three tips or advice that you can use at your home aquaria or your planted tank at home to get clean looking water. Not clean looking, actual clean water. So over the course of a month or so of me talking to a bunch of customers, they've come into the store and asked us how we get our water looking so crystal clear. And today I want to give you guys three tricks that I use. I wouldn't really call them tricks. They're more of a standard, in my opinion, to keep your water looking crystal clear. If you have lots of biomedia, that equals lots of room for bacteria colonization, which allows for a faster nitrogen cycle in your aquarium. So again, this 90 gallon has four bags of biomedia. You can see how clear the water is. It's almost crystal clear. Now, if you have a look at this tank, it may be hard to see on camera. It's clear, but it's not crystal clear in my opinion, right? And that's because we only had so much room for the biomedia up here. So we were only able to fit half the bag and the rest of it underneath is just a coarse sponge, right? Next tip I have for you guys is to keep plants in your aquarium, right? Now, if you have like fish like goldfish, that may be a little bit harder to keep plants, but ideally in a nano tank or nano fish, you want to keep your aquariums as planted as possible. When I say planted, it doesn't necessarily have to be planted in the substrate. There are plants that you can have floating, like floating water lettuce, there's duckweed, and these guys will absorb all the waste in the water, such as nitrite, nitrates, and ammonia, right? And you'll notice that when they start multiplying. So the more they multiply, the more they're filtering out your water, per se. You can also have some fast growing plants, like I have Limnophila. I talk about that plant a lot on this channel because they are extremely easy and fast growing plants. They're gonna help you clean the water, right, on top of your water changes. Now, just because you have plants doesn't mean you should do less water changes. You should still do the same amount if necessary. Um, on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis, right? And the last tip for you guys before I end the video today is water changes. I know, it feels like it's something I shouldn't have to mention for you guys, but a lot of customers come in and they ask us how often we should be doing water changes. And it's a hard question to say because it depends on your bio load and how much fish you have, uh, how much tank space you have going on. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. So three tips remember biomedia or filtration two plants and three water changes if you guys follow those three tips i gave you i'm sure you guys will have crystal clear water in your aquarium so if this video helped you guys in any way make sure to leave a like if there's anything you want to let me know leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next one oh and don't forget to subscribe peace out